Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab and then in the launch option type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now I'm not using any third party antivirus. I'm using Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, then go to privacy and security. In Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage the ransomware protection. Now click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add, add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will see the game folder. So open the game folder. And then first of all, open the game folder over here. Select this exe file and then click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app browse all apps. This time open Delta Force folder, binaries Win64 and then select this exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then go back and then open this launcher and select both the exe file over here add and allowed app browse all apps and then select this click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel Go to System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings on the top. And then click on Allow another app. Click on Browse and then go to the Game Installation folder once again. And then open the Game folder. Now, select the open the Game folder. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once it is added, click on allow another app once again, browse and then. Sorry, open the game folder and we have already added this one. Now open Delta Force binaries Win64 and then scroll down, select this exe file, click on open. Now click on add. Now once the game is added, again click on allow another app, click on browse and then go back. And then this time open this launcher folder, select both the exe file. In my case it is already added, again click on allow another app, click on browse and then select the second exe file, click on open, click on add. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to is to run the game as an administrator and then now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and this will op now open the game folder make a right click on delta force client and then select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on OK and then go to Steam and then launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click once again, select properties and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from Steam. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from Steam. If it's still not working, put a check on disable, full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, open Delta Force folder, binaries, Win64. Do the same thing over here. So select the game exe file, make a right click, select properties, and then go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, 
launch the game from Steam. If that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8 and then hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Again, put a check on disable full, full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working in that case. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working in that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file. Make a right tick, select properties and then uncheck these boxes. And then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to uninstall anti-cheat expert and then launch the game and during the launch it will reinstall anti-cheat expert. Now for this make a right click on the game once again manage browse local files and then open game folder now open delta force folder now open binaries win64 here you can see anti-cheat export folder open this now over here you will see ace setup 64 make a double click and then click on yes to allow and here you can see this will uninstall anti-cheat export continue do not uninstall on game running or may lose connection so click on yes and once it is uninstalled you will see a prompt which says uninstall completed now you can launch the game now when you launch the game during the launch it will actually reinstall anti-cheat export so now click on launch So over here right now it's actually installing Antitude Expert and once this is done now you can you should be able to run the game. So let me close the game for now. Now still not working the next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game fi files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GE Force Experience. So make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And this will be game ready driver. And then click on search and then click on download. And then click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now, Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now select the exe file open game select delta force client click on add and then click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open this delta force binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again, click on browse and then go back and then open the launcher folder. Select the first exe file over here. Click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again, click on browse and then select the second exe file. Click on add and then click on options. 
select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so you have to download both the files x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download the x64 file now once the download is complete run this exe file as well and then again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so once you see restart over here restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version so this is important do not ignore this so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then you restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one. now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have like hotas pedals wheels any kind of external usb adapter or usb dongle connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect it sometimes we have an extra controller connected to the computer disconnected now if you have any kind of virtual controller in vjoy etc in that case you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off and then check if you have discord running turn off overlay in discord if you have geforce experience running turn off overlay in geforce experience so all, or you can simply close 
all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab, put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Click on apply, click on OK and then you will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. Now, if the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.